Hey, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at AVAX. I do want to say that I'm not a financial advisor. You should do your own research before investing money into crypto. Now, if you haven't seen the previous update, I encourage you to watch that before watching this one so that you have more context. It's going to be linked in the top right hand corner of the screen. Now let's get straight into the TA. Taking a look at AVAX on the daily, we have the same Fibonacci retracement as uh, as we did for the last year and a half. So the swing high printed in February last year and the swing low in July of 2021. We still have that support block, $10.64 to $9.40. That's what I'm expecting AVAX to retest before you print our bear market bottom and continue on into 2024 with the bull market, hopefully. Now, zooming in to the daily Let's see what's going on here. So we have the yellow support trend line that we just retested, as you can see. That's the same low we printed all the way back in November when, when we had the, the capitulation there. And uh, as you can see, we had a little move to the upside and now we're coming back down. So this is hopefully a very nice double bottom pattern. You have your first low, you have your second low. Now, if we start going lower than this uh, low, right, we print a lower low and we go further down, Obviously, that invalidates the, the double bottom pattern. And in this case, as you can see, uh, the target to from from this pattern would be uh, all the way up here at $16.44. But for that, we would need to break this swing high that we printed December 6th. Once we break that, then we have this technical target to be met. And this actually does work very nicely. This fits into the narrative very nicely because we lost this support block that we have above us, this yellow support block. We lost it in November, and now we're going to be coming back up to retest it as resistance and then hopefully print a lower high and continue on and break it the next time around. That's the potential play here because... Uh, like I said, we still need to hold this yellow trend line in order for the double bottom pattern to be valid. If not, like I said, you still have this support block below that we targeted last summer in 2021. Not last summer, but the 2021 summer. And I told you that, man, you got to enter at these levels because this is going to be, this is probably going to be one of the last few opportunities you have for AVAX. That's going to be below $10. And lo and behold, afterwards, we had that incredible run up to the uh, to the targets and to the all-time high prices that we got. So this is regarding AVAX on the daily. Taking a look at the daily RSI, as you can see, we're holding the yellow support trend line on the RSI. As you can see, we had a bounce in May. We had a bounce in August. We had a little fake out in October, another bounce in October. We had a fake out in November, fake out in November too. And now we're bouncing off in December. So this trend line is still holding strong, which is pretty good in my opinion. And good buying opportunity nonetheless. If we continue down and we get over, oversold below the index of 30, then that's going to be a very nice buying opportunity. What you could also do is you can take a rectangular pattern and just do something like this. Because this seems to be the support trend, uh, the support block that we have been retesting on the uh, daily RSI since August. And every time you hit this support block, you get bounced back up. And uh, hopefully the next time we do that, we're going to have the exact same bounce. And that is going to provide us with a very nice buying opportunity. So the red trend line as of right now is broken below. So that's once again a major resistance trend line for us. Uh, we do have quite a lot of fake outs above it, so it's not uh, as important as uh, it was back here when we were testing it as resistance. But still, I'm going to have it on the charts just in case we see a very strong uh, move to the upside. In that case, I'm going to be targeting the yellow and the red trend lines for entry. So I'm going to still have it on the charts, but the yellow trend line is key in this situation. Now, I do want to switch over to the Binance website. And before we continue, I quickly want to ask you, do you value your privacy? If the answer is yes, then you must take a look at ExpressVPN. ExpressVPN offers you the privacy that you deserve, no activity logs and no connection logs. Your internet provider won't be able to access 
anything and anyone using the same open free Wi-Fi in the cafe as you won't be able to do any harm or breach your security. You can use the ExpressVPN application on any device. You can connect it to your PlayStation or you can even connect it to your router so that anyone who connects is automatically secured. Or if you're looking to access any region blocked content on your streaming platform, well, ExpressVPN can do that as well. If you're living in the Netherlands and you want to access a TV show that's only available in Japan, well, my friend, you can do that with ExpressVPN. You can use the link down below in the description and get a discounted price along with three extra months for free. You can uh, get your money back if you don't like it, but I don't see any reason why you wouldn't like it because we all need the privacy and in today's age especially. And you can also pay with Bitcoin, so that's a really cool feature as well. And let's get on with the video. So. Taking a look at the weekly chart on Binance, as you can see, we are in this falling wedge. We haven't broken down or anything like that. So this is quite bullish, very bullish setup. I was expecting AVAX to break down with the most recent Bitcoin pullback. So uh, for now, this is good. We're holding the support uh, uh, of this falling wedge. We had a retest in June. We had a retest in, um, in November. And we are very close uh, to the apex of the pattern. We're literally almost in the apex of this pattern and the closer you are to the apex of a falling wedge, the higher the chance of a breakout. And hopefully we're going to see a major breakout to uh, all the way to our technical target here in July 2022 is when we printed that August 1st, you could say at $28.5. That's our technical target because that's when the or that's where the pattern was created. Now, granted, we're not going to do that in a day. Even if we break out, that's going to take a couple of months, maybe a month or two uh, for that to play out. But uh, that is going to be our target. So you could target that if we don't break down. If we break down and we start losing the July low of 2021, well, that's a whole different story. That's going to be quite negative, in my opinion, because you can see that you don't have any trading range here. Uh, really nothing, no support here. This is a, just a straight bounce to the upside, straight, you know, skyrocketing to the upside. So if we break down, this is not going to be looking very good for AVAX because we can just nose dive all the way back down to this trading range over here. Let me show you. Uh, so all the way here. This is going to be our next trading range to uh, to target if if we go back below nine dollars. You know, so. Uh, like I said, hopefully that doesn't happen. If it does, it's going to be very risky. But those who buy risky assets and, and in risky situations have the most profit. But uh, personally, I am not a big fan of AVAX or Avalanche, so I don't own any. I am dollar cost averaging into other altcoins. But, you know, if you are bullish on the project long term and you know what the team is doing and you believe in the team, uh, then, you know, it's fine by me. You can invest, obviously. And uh, if 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 it's going to go down this low and you like the project, then you're in luck because you get to buy these cheap prices. But like I said, I don't know if I really want to see this happen to AVAX because I don't know how long it's going to take for the price to recover from that zone. But, uh, you know, to each his own. And taking a look at the weekly RSI, as you can see, we're still in this channel down pattern. I would target the bottom of the channel down pattern for entries. Uh, we have one bounce in August, second bounce in November. So hopefully uh, we can see a bounce over here at some time in December, maybe January. So be on the lookout for that. Take a look at this uh, RSI uh, on the weekly and draw this out. Uh, I'm simply using the parallel channel to create this rectangular pattern when, what you have to do is you have to go to the trend line section on the on your left uh, tool board and uh, you go to parallel channel right and i have that saved up as a favorite so obviously if we go all the way down into the oversold below the index of 30 here on the r side that's going to be an incredible buying opportunity taking a look at the weekly stochastic we're still in the oversold you know, this is a good time to be buying. Uh, not really much to say about that. And uh, strong selling pressure here for AVAX in the past two weeks. Let's see what, what this week brings to us. But I don't think we're going to see a very bullish week moving forward. 
I think that uh, once the interest rates have been stopped uh, or the interest rates are not getting uh, hiked up anymore, I think that's when we probably are going to see some moves to the upside and maybe Bitcoin's going to start printing those higher highs and breaking the August high sometime towards um, the August of 2022. That's the high I'm talking about. And towards August 2023, I think we're going to have that large fake out, that large bull trap. Then we're going to have a pullback. Right. So we're going to be going into August here, 2023. Then we're going to see the pullback into September, October, probably. And from there, just like in 2020, we're going to see that massive, massive bull market play out into 2024 and 2025. So let's see what happens. Very excited to see about uh, very excited to see where AVAX is going to be at that point. But yeah, let me know if I missed out anything important on the charts. Please let me know uh, if you checked out my Patreon because I do provide exclusive content there, including uh, podcast episodes. You can request a technical analysis for me to take a look at. You can request any uh, crypto related videos that I'm going to be posting there. So yeah, it's just a nice little community we have. Feel free to check it out. Link is in the description and I'm going to see you in the next one. Goodbye and good night.